Fairfield Media presents the FCA Sports Network, highlighting the teamwork and sportsmanship of the Mid-State League high school sports. Today's matchup will test the FCA Knights and their pursuit of excellence and their commitment to perseverance. Tune in, crank it up. Welcome to the FCA Sports Network, brought to you in part by Big Sandy Superstore, Service Master Clean by Todd George, Central Ohio General Surgeons, Scrambler Marie's on Edy Road, Ohio Christian University, Fairfield Medical Center, Innate Family Chiropractic, Bill Palmer Insurance, Spires Paving Company, Home of Joy Farms, Business Solution Systems, Redeemer Lutheran Church, Fairfield County Sheriff Dave Phelan, Fairfield Christian Church, WLRY 88.9 and LancasterOhio.tv. From Fairfield Christian Academy in Lancaster, Ohio, this is the FCA Sports Network on WLRY 88.9 FM, Lancaster Rushville. Also on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner, and on YouTube at Lancaster, Ohio TV. Hi again, everybody. Jack Davidson along with Caleb Beyond and the FCA media team. Tonight we have a great high school matchup in girls basketball for you. The Burn Union Rockets coached by Dwayne Hurst. Record of 12-2 overall, 5-1 in the conference against the home team, FCA Knights, coached by Ben Bethel, 6-0 in the conference, 14-2 overall, third ranked in the Division IV rankings in ladies high school basketball. Here's Caleb with the starting lineup for Burn Union. Well, Jack, Riley Snoke, number one for Burn Union. Number three is Alexis Laner. Number 12 is Kirsten Morgan. And number 22, Lauren Shepard. And how about for FCA? That's their starting lineup. And for FCA, number one, Vivian George. Number five, Leah Custer. 20, Rochelle Tedrow. Number 22, McKaylee Dexter. And 25, Ruthie Johnson. Junior varsity action tonight, FCA beat Burnham. By a score of 44-21, Kalen DeWeese was the high score for the FCA Knights. Tonight's officials, Chad Whittington, Jack Ryan, and Paul Dinan. Nice crowd here on a Saturday night here at FCA. Burn Union dressed in their road maroon uniforms, gold numerals, white trim. They'll be going right to left on your radio dial. FCA. And the home whites with the red numerals and trim. Tedro and Shepard, center court. Ball's in the air. We're underway at FCA. FCA wins the tip. Ball goes down to Ruthie Johnson. Quick shot from the corner, no good. Rebound, Burn Union. Burn Union moving right to left along the radio dial. Alexis Lanier at the point. Goes right side to Mirgan. Mirgan, the right point. Back to Lanier, works her way into the circle, fires a jumper off the backboard and in. Alexis Lanier with her first two points, 2-0. Two Burn Union with 7.28 to go. First quarter of play, Leah Custer at the point. For FCA, goes left side to Vivian George. On the wing to Kaylee Dexter, cross court to Custer. FCA working against a 2-3 zone. Custer goes to Ruthie Johnson on the right side on the wing, foul line extended, back to Custer. Left side to George to Dexter, looking for Tedrow inside, goes outside to Custer, bounce pass to Ruthie Johnson, she puts it up and in on the right corner. Johnson gets in the books, 2-0, 2-2 uh, the score. FCA with a full court trap, Shepard with the ball, breaks the press, shot on the right side by Snoke, no good, rebound to Bieber. Bieber stolen now by Custer, gives it to Vivian George. Across the timeline to Custer, Custler, Goes right corner now to Johnson, inside to Tedro, low block right side, out to George. She fires a jumper back at the rim, no good. Dexter tries to track it down and does in the left corner. Kicks it out to Custer. Custer at the point. 
Right side to Ruthie Johnson. Johnson drives baseline. Stops. Out to Tedrill. Foul line extended. Gives it to Custer. She drives. Puts it up. No good. And we got a foul. Foul is on Burn Unions. Number 22, Lauren Shepard, her first team first. Leah Custer goes line right, shooting two. Custer averaging 19.7 points per ball game. Hits the first shot. Bieber sits down, and in is Megan Shepard for Burn Union. Custer, line right, Sites shoots it, hits the front of the rim, no good. Rebound to Snoke. Snoke quickly across the timeline, left point. Gets it to Shepard. That's Megan Shepard, gives it to Lanier. With Ruthie Johnson on her man-to-man -man defense for the night. 6.05 to go, first quarter of play. 3-2 the score. Shepard drives right side, and she is fouled on the shot. Lauren Shepard on the shot. She's fouled. The foul is on Kaylee Dexter, her first team first. Shepard line left, shooting two, hits the first. Lauren Shepard in the books with her first point. We're tied at three with 5.59 to go. First quarter of play. Lauren Shepard. Gold number 22, back of the road maroon jersey. Misses the second off back of the rim. Leah Custer with a rebound. Across the timeline between the circles goes right side. Ruthie Johnson, foul line extended against the 2-3 zone. Vivian George between the circles. She holds. Now she's on the dribble. Right side to Ruthie Johnson, high post to Tedrow. Gets it to Dexter, back out to Johnson. Custer fires a three from the corner. Air ball, rebound to Dexter. Dexter. On the left side, it's a shot blocked by Shepard. Ball goes out of bounds. Will be Burn Union's ball. Lauren Shepard on the block. Dexter last touched it. We're tied at 3, 529 to go. First quarter of play. Custer's air ball on that three is something we're not used to seeing. It's a big game tonight for both teams. Long pass intercepted by Custer. Goes across the timeline, right point. And she'll work it left side. Vivian George fires a three ball. That misses the mark. Rebound comes down to Burn Union. Megan Shepard with the basketball. Bounce pass to Alexis Lanier on the right point. Now between the circles into the forecourt. She tries to go uh, high post. Intercepted by Dexter. Gets it to Custer. Custer drives. Passes to Ruthie Johnson on the baseline. Misses the shot. Rebound to Snoke. Riley Snoke crossed the timeline. Goes left side, stops, and she travels. 5.45 to go, first quarter play, tied at three. FCA came in tonight, record is 6-0 in the conference. Burn Union, 5-1. Two teams last met in December down Burn Union. FCA was a 40-29 winner. That's, FCA with the basketball. That's Burn Union's only loss in the conference is to Fairfield. And uh, Leah Custer bangs a 15-footer from the left side. That's good. 5-3 the score. FCA with a full court now zone trap. Trap is broken. S Snoke fires a shot from the corner. Missed. Le Near has it. Outside. Fires a three ball. No good. Ball loose. And it'll go FCA's way. The thing about FCA is not only can they shoot, but they're also dangerous on defense, too. They don't miss an opportunity for a steal. Leah Custer with the basketball into the center circle. Left side of Vivian George. George high post to Tedrow. Tedrow with the dribble outside now to Custer. Three ball right side. Good. <laughs> Leah Custer with six. 8-3 the score, FCA with the lead. Zone trap now, Snoke passes it down to Macon Shepard. She'll drive, puts a shot up, no good. Kaylee Dexter with a rebound out to Leah Custer. Long cross-court pass, Vivian George off her hands out of bounds. It'll go to Burn Union's way, 3.34 to go. First quarter of play. Subs now for Burn Union. Sarah Long and Sarah Bieber in. The subs for FCA is Abby Spurgis and Megan Austin. 
2-2-1 zone press now, full court press for FCA. Burn Union with the basketball. Lanier dribbling in the backcourt. Goes cross court to Megan Shepard. Back to Lanier into the forecourt with 3.21 to go. First quarter play FC up by five, eight to three. Shepard with the basketball. It's Lauren Shepard gets it to Lanier. Working foul line extended, drives baseline, puts up a shot, no good. And we've got a foul, I believe it's on Leah Custer. If it is, it's her first, team second. Lexus Lanier, line left, shooting two. She's got two points on the night. Gold number three in the back of her maroon uniform. Sights it, shoots it, and hits it. Lanier with three points, looking for four at the line. 3.08 to go, first quarter of play. FCA up by four. Lanier sights it, shoots it, hits it. Alexis Lanier with four. FCA now with the ball, up 8-5, 3.05 to go, first quarter of play. Austin to Custer. Spurgis left wing back to Custer at the point. Tedro has it, right point back to Custer. She'll drive, she'll stop. It's it to Ruthie Johnson, fires inside the arc and hits. Ruthie Johnson with four. There's a pass that goes out of bounds. It'll be FCA's ball in the forecourt. 10-5 the score, FCA's ball 240 to go, FCA up by five. First quarter of play, ball in the bounded to Custer, right side. Now to Austin, back to Custer, left side to Johnson. FCA effectively moving the ball against this 2-3 zone. Custer drives into the lane, puts it up for another rim. No good, rebound loose, and we got a foul. Be a loose ball foul maybe on Ruthie Johnson. Let's see. Nope, it's Abby Spurgis. Abby's in the book with one foul. Team third, 2.25 to go. 10-5, the score, FCA up by five. Lanier goes to Shepard, back to Lanier in the backcourt. Passes up to her sister, and she is bumped by Rochelle Tedrow. Tedrow's first foul. Team foul fourth, and Burn Union will inbound the basketball to the right of their basket. Snoke in, and coming out, Sarah Long for Burn Union. Lanier holding, holding, looking, holding, gets it out, uh, tries to pass it to Shepard, intercepted by Custer. She drives the length of the floor, stops, pops, backboard no good, rebound Burn Union. Lanier running, Custer trying to catch up with her. There's a shot up the backboard, no good, rebound Burn Union, no good, but we have a foul. Shot by Lauren Shepard was blocked, but she was fouled on the play, and the foul is on. Number 11, Lauren Austin. Her first, that's the team fifth, and FCA quickly getting into foul trouble here with 2.02 to go, first quarter of play. Shepard misses the first. Lauren Shepard, 5'7", junior guard, sights it, shoots it, hits it. Lauren Shepard with two points. 10-6 with two minutes to go. FCA up by four. Leah Custer into the forecourt between the circles. Goes left side to Ruthie Johnson. Back to Custer. To Johnson left side. Looking for Tedro. She goes cross court now. Megan Austin inside to Tedro. Back out to Austin. Custer cuts. Fires. A jumper. No good. Loose ball. Rebound to Burn Union. Lauren Shepard gets it. Head of the pack to her sister Megan. Now to... Alexis Lanier between the circles with 90 seconds to go, first quarter of play. Bounce pass to Megan Shepard on the right side, foul line extended, tries to go inside to Sarah Bieber, and we got a foul, I believe it's on Abby Spurgis. Kaylee, Kylie Dexter getting ready to check in now. Abby Spurgis is the guilty party. That's Abby's second, team six. Next foul will put. Burn Union into the bonus. 
with 1.22 to go. First quarter play, 10-6 the score. FCA with the lead, Burn Union with the ball. Lanier trying to get the ball in, close to five seconds. She uh, passes it into the backcourt. Snoke has it. She'll come across into the forecourt between the circles. Johnson on her. Passes to Shepard. Lauren Shepard stops at the foul line. Tries to get it to Lanier. Taken away by Leah Custer. She'll back off, and now she's going to pass right side to Johnson. Inside to Dexter. Puts it up and in. <laughs> Kaylee Dexter with her first two. 12-6 the score. Under a minute to play. Shot up, no good, by Sarah Bieber. Rebound to Austin. Gets it to Custer. Now between the circles into the forecourt. Left side to Austin. Back to Custer. High post to Tedro. Kenzie Johnson tries to go inside to Dexter. And the ball goes off a of Burn Union player out of bounds. FCA's ball up 12-6, 34.3 seconds to go. Johnson holding, holding, gets it to Custer. She'll stop and pop at the baseline, hits the front of the rim, no good. Rebound to Burn Union. Lanier has it at the right point, 23 seconds to go. She'll go top of the key now to Megan Shepard. Shepard directing traffic with 16 seconds to go. Left side to Sarah Bieber. To Snoke, Riley Snoke holding, goes left side now. Lauren Shepard, she'll take a shot, back of the rim, bounces off the rim, no good. Rebound to Austin, gets it to Custer, and that's the end of the first quarter. Timeout on the floor. Score is FCA 12, Burn Union 6 on the FCA Sports Network. When it comes to along, I've attended basketball games from coast to coast over the years as a participant, broadcaster, parent, and fan. And believe me, I've seen my share of unsporting behavior. The purpose of school sports is for kids to have fun, develop their skills, and learn lessons that will last a lifetime. So when you attend a school contest, please keep that in mind. Remember to behave in a way that reflects positively on your child, your school, and your community. Let's respect the game. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. This is the FCA Sports Network. The FCA Sports Network is brought to you by Big Sandy Superstore. We're founded in 1953 and they believe in giving customers the best possible value for their money spent. And if there is a problem, they simply follow the golden rule. This simple formula has stood the test of time. Big Sandy Superstore in Lancaster on Memorial Drive. Burn Union starts the ball with the, uh, starts the uh, second quarter with the basketball. Going right to left on your radio dial. Lexus Lanier goes left side to Riley Snoke. Foul line extended back to Lanier. FCA in a 2-3 zone. Vivian George pressuring Lanier. Passes to Shepard. It's Lauren Shepard. Gives it back to Lanier. 7.30 to go here in the first half of play. Ball stolen by Mackenzie uh, Johnson. Gets away with a uh, travel. Or actually a palming of the basketball. She goes left side. Now we got a whistle and a traveling call on FCA. Burn Union needs to work on their ball handling skills. FCA is all over them, getting all the steals. 12-6 the score. FCA up by six with 7-17 to go. Full court pressure for FCA. Press is broken. Snoke goes baseline. And we got a travel call on Burn Union. Kirsten when Jurgen, it comes to choosing a school, five, guards, who want the best education for their travel. students look for academic excellence, FCA skilled teachers, a safe floor. school Ruthie that Johnson encourages their values. Students want a school with competitive court, athletics, court. unique opportunities, two, one, two and friendships that last a lifetime. Fair George to Custer, right side to Johnson, corner to Tedro, a nice little pass <laughs> to McKaylee Dexter, puts it off the backboard and in. Dexter with four, 14-6 the score. Loose ball on the floor, Snoke comes down with it in the forecourt. She takes a shot, no good, rebound Shepard, no good. 
FCA with the ball. Dexter has the rebound, and she is fouled on the floor. Foul is on Kirsten Mirgan. Timeout, Burn Union. Timeout on the floor, 6.35 to go. First half of play. FCA leads 14-6 over Burn Union on the FCA Sports Network. The FCA Sports Network is brought to you by Service Master Clean by Todd George. They provide cleaning services for Fairfield County. They will help you get clean and stay that way, at work and at home. Service Master Clean by Todd George is proud to demonstrate their commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George. 740-687-1077. The FCA Sports Network is also brought to you by the Central Ohio General Surgeons. They are physicians who are ready and willing to perform invasive procedures for the wellness of their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. Central Ohio General Surgeons can be contacted at 740-654-6213. So Burn Union now will put on a press as FCA will inbound the basketball going length to the floor. Ruthie Johnson has it, 6.35 to go. First half of play, 14-6, FCA up. Johnson to Custer, back to Johnson. She'll go up to George. George, still in the backcourt, now will get it to Custer, and they break the press and will set up. 1-2-2 two, two zone now for Burn Union. Dexter in the corner. She goes inside to Tedrow and she is fouled by Kirsten Mergen. Mergen, her second foul, team third. Ruthie Johnson will inbound to the right of the FCA basket. FCA sets up in a box. Johnson holds, holds, kicks it out to Leah Custer. Custer between the circles gives it to Vivian George with 6.09 to go in the first half. George has it, left side to Johnson, cross court to Custer. She stops, gets it to Tedrow, back to Custer, fires a three, back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Ruthie Johnson, tries to kick it out to Dexter. The ball goes across the timeline, it'll be over and back. Burn Union gets the basketball. 5.54 to go. First half of play, FC up 14 6. Lanier. Gets it in to Shepard, back to Lanier. FCA now looks to be a 2-3 zone. Shepard has it, loses it, gets it back. Ball knocked away by George. Shepard on the drive, kicks it out to her sister Lauren, goes inside to Mergen, and the ball goes out of bounds, last touch by FCA. 5.31 to go. First half of play, FC up 14-6. Lanier inbounding. She'll kick it left side to Lauren Shepard. Top of the key to her sister Megan. Fires a jumper, no good. Loose ball on the floor. Leah Custer comes down with it. Two on two. Custer drives into the lane, lays it up short. Ball tipped out of bounds and will go FCA's way. FCA with the basketball. Ruthie Johnson to inbound. Holding, holding. Gets it to Tedro. Foul line extended to Custer. Johnson in the corner, right side. Puts a jumper up, no good. Tedro tips, no good. Rebound to Mirgan. Gets it to Lanier across the timeline, right side. She goes left side now to Shepard. Tries to hit Lanier in the backcourt, and it's a over and a back call. FCA gets the basketball, 4.59 to go. First half of play, 14-6 FCA leads. Got Riley Snook checking in for Kirsten Mirgan for Burn Union. Next break, we're going to pause and give you a station ID. Custer drives into the lane, puts it up, rattles the rim, no good, rebound to Burn Union. Lauren Shepard across the timeline. Gives it to Snoke. High post to Megan Shepard. Bounce pass to Lanier. Left side to Snoke. She'll fire a three. Front of the rim, no good. Dexter touches it. No uh, ball goes off her hands out of bounds and it'll be Burn Union's ball. I want to remind you, you're listening to the FCA Sports Network on WLRY 88.9, Lancaster Rushville. 
Burn Union with the basketball. Alexis Lanier to Snoke. Offside to Lauren Shepard. Gives it to Megan and it's stolen away by Leah Custer. Two on one. Custer bounce pass to George. Stops, pops, no good. Rebound off. Burn Union will be FCA's ball. 4-16 to go. First half of play 14-6. FCA up by eight with the basketball. Ruthie Johnson gets it to Tedro. Into the corner, out to Custer, back to Tedro. She sights it, gets it to Custer. She'll work off a Tedro pick, get bounce pass to Rochelle. She puts it up, no good, and she's fouled. Foul is on Burn Union's Megan Shepard. Her first, it's a team fourth. Rochelle Tedro, line right, shooting two. First one up and in. So Rochelle is in the books. She has a point. Leah Custer is the leading scorer for FCA with six. Dexter and Johnson both with four. And Rochelle bangs in the second one. She's got two. 16-6 the score. Quickly up court. Lanier passes the ball out of bounds. FCA will get the turnover. Lauren Austin checks in for FCA. McKaylee Dexter sits down. Four minutes to go, first half of play. Stay tuned, halftime. We'll be talking to Athletic Director Aaron Bates of FCA. Vivian George in the backcourt, and we have a timeout, FCA. Timeout on the floor, 3.51 to go, first half of play. 16 to 6, FCA leads Burn Union on the FCA Sports Network. The FCA Sports Network is brought to you by Scrambler Marie's on ED Road in Lancaster. It is the best place for breakfast, brunch, or lunch. From crepes to paninis, from burgers to salads, they are perfect for lunch breaks, business meetings, and private events, or catering. Scrambler Marie's on E.D. Road in Lancaster. You'll never walk away hungry. Ohio Christian University is committed to offering a complete education that develops students intellectually, professionally, and spiritually. OCU offers degree programs for traditional undergraduate students, graduate students, adult students, and online students. OCU is located in Circleville. 3.51 to go. In the first half, FCA now working against a 1-2-2 zone trap. Ruthie Johnson breaks the trap, and now they call a over and back call on Leah Custer. It was like she was not set in the um, forecourt. At least that's what they say. So that turnover gives the ball back to Burn Union. Lanier, left side to Snoke. FC in a 2-3 zone. Shepard fires a jumper from the corner. No good. Rebound to Ruthie Johnson. Gets it to Leah Custer. 3.29 to go. First half of play. Custer ahead of the pack to George. Fires a three. Back of the rim. No. Rebound loose. Snoke has it. Riley Snoke quickly across the timeline. Tedrow in pursuit. Snoke drives baseline left side. Puts it up and in. Riley Snoke with her first two. 16-8 the score. Austin has it quickly across the timeline. Right side gets it to Tedro. Tedro bounce pass to Custer. Corner to Austin. Fires a three. No good. And we got a jump ball call as Johnson and Megan Shepard came down with the basketball. FCA gets the ball and the change of possession arrow. Kenzie Johnson in now for Vivian George. Ruthie Johnson inbounding. Gets it to McKenzie. Custer stops and pops at the foul line and hits. Aliyah <laughs> Custer with eight. FC up 18-8. 2.45 to go. First half of play. Snoke goes cross court to Lanier. Into the forecourt to Shepard. Shepard, Tedrow on her. Shoots and she's fouled. And Lauren Shepard will go foul line left for two shots. Tedrow's second foul. Seventh team. On FCA, Warren Shepard line left shooting two as McKaylee Dexter gets ready to check in. Shepard hits the first, Dexter in for Tedro. Warren Shepard with three points on the night. All three on foul shots. 
Second shot, front of the rim, no good. Rebound to Austin. Custer, long pass intercepted by Burn Union. Lanier has it quickly across the timeline. She'll fire a three ball, no good. Dexter comes down with it. She'll give it to Leah Custer, 2.20 to go. Custer in the backcourt, into the forecourt. Stops, goes left side to Johnson, back to Custer. To Johnson, Austin has it. Mackenzie Johnson, back to Austin. To Johnson, she'll give it to Custer, two minutes to go, first half of play. FCA up with an 18 to nine lead. Custer has it, stops at the foul line, fires, no good. McKaylee Dexter with the rebound inside, tries to pass to Ruthie Johnson. Last touch by Riley Snoke, out of bounds, FCA's ball to the right of their own basket. Austin to inbound, kick it out to Custer. Kenzie Johnson gets it to Custer. Back to Johnson on the left side to Custer. Working against the zone defense. Ruthie Johnson has it in the corner to Leah Custer. Takes a bounce, gets it out to Austin. Top of the key. Dexter goes right side to Johnson. Bounce pass Ruthie Johnson into the corner. Fires and hits. <laughs> Ruthie Johnson with six. And it's a 20 to nine score. 120 to go. First half of play. FC up by 11. 2-3 zone for FCA. Snoke goes right side to Lanier. Back to Snoke, top of the key. She'll fire a three ball. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound loose. Ruthie Johnson comes down with it. Head of the pack to Custer. Custer drives, puts it up. Left hand, no good. And we got a travel call on Leah Custer. Sarah Long comes in, and Riley Snoke sits down for Burn Union. 103 to go, first half of play. FCA up by 11. Stay tuned at halftime. We'll talk to Aaron Bates, FCA athletic director. There's an errant pass that Lanier tracks down. Custer knocks out of bounds, and Burn Union will inbound far side. Into the backcourt, Lanier passes to Megan Shepard back to Lanier. 2 2 1 now zone trap for FCA. Lanier to Long. Long. Right side, dribbles, she loses it, gets it back, loose on the floor. Burn Union has it now, loose ball on the floor. Last touch by Burn Union, FCA's ball. 38.2 seconds to go. 20 to nine the score. Well, if Burn Union wanted to get a score before the half, they can't keep doing that. Be interesting to see if uh, FCA takes uh, time off the clock, goes for the last shot. Let's see, Dexter across the timeline, gets it to Custer, left side now. Mackenzie Johnson, Ruthie Johnson fires from the corner and hits. Ruthie Johnson with eight. 22-9 the score with 22 seconds to go. First half of play, FCA up. Burn Union with the basketball. 13 seconds. Shepard holding on the right side. Gets the long, stolen by Custer. Ball goes out of bounds. Burn Union has the ball at half court. 7.4 seconds to go. Megan Shepard will inbound to Alexis Lanier. Into the backcourt, now into the forecourt. Five seconds. Pass intercepted by Mackenzie Johnson. She is tripped in the backcourt. 2.5 seconds to go. That foul will be on Burn Union's Lauren Shepard. It's her second team fifth. FCA now gets shot for the last shot as Austin will inbound to Custer. She stops, fires a three ball, back to the rim, no good, and that's the end of the first half of play. Timeout on the floor. FCA leads Burn Union by a score 22 to nine on the FCA Sports Network. Stay tuned, talk to Mr. Aaron Bates after this. To choosing a school, parents who want the best education for their students look for academic excellence, skilled teachers, a safe school that encourages their values. Students want a school with competitive athletics, unique opportunities, and friendships that last a lifetime. Fairfield Christian Academy, the place where parents and students agree. Enrolling now at fairfieldchristianacademy.com. Hey, hold over! Uh-oh, 
Vince. They're really cracking down on safety belts these days. Uh, what's up, officer? I'm giving you a ticket for committing an anal of Safety belt violation. Compliments of Barney Fife. We never wear safety belts. We're dummies. Weisenheimers. He gave us a ticket. A man's got to do what he's got to do. <laughs> In 1929, uh, in Chicago, uh, a gentleman by the name of Marion Wade, a former uh, minor league baseball player, started the company. It was just a moth-proofing company then. Uh, in 1952, it expanded to carpet cleaning and pioneered what uh, is now called uh, outsourcing. And the Sidwells wanted a community that had a lot of churches, had a lot of soccer opportunities where kids love soccer, uh, and a good parks and rec department, so they chose Lancaster. And so in 1980, uh, they moved the franchise here in Lancaster, the 6th Avenue. Uh, but then in 2002, Todd George, current owner, purchased the franchise from them. And in 2004, he bought a building uh, that's on Mulberry Street, and that's where the franchise is located currently. I'm Jay Johnson, General Manager of Service Master Clean by Todd George, where we guarantee if it's not done right the first time, we'll do it again. Service Master Clean by Todd George, 740-687-1077, 740-687-1077. Halftime here on the FCA Sports Network. Jack Davis along with Aaron Bates, who's the athletic director also. You have a new title this year. What is that? Yeah, I'm, uh, I got promoted to assistant principal, I guess, if you can consider that a promotion. Very good. Congratulations. What does that entail? Well, um, you know, kind of whatever whatever somebody tells me to do is about what it entails. But uh, most of the time when, when kids aren't behaving quite like they should, I, I have a little sit down with you've them. Had so. a, you've had a good school year, though, haven't you? We have. We've had a real good school year. And to tell you the truth, I, the, the less assistant principal stuff I do, the better off. Isn't that so. great? Uh, if someone's listening or watching on TV, they want to enroll at FCA, what's the process? Right. Well, uh, the best thing you can do is go to our website. Um, you can go to the school website, just Google Fairfield Christian Academy. It'll go right to it. I have a new website. It's got lots of information on there. has all the people you can contact. Um, we have a new co-op program coming up next year where uh, it used to be you'd have to take at least three classes to be enrolled here. Now next year we're also offering one class, maybe two, for, uh, for some of those homeschool kids out there. So yeah, it's a new thing. Very good. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, winter programs here, uh, the sports program. What do you offer? Yeah, we offer uh, boys and girls basketball. We also have archery that uh, is kind of a winter sport. It kind of goes in fall and spring as well. But uh, lots of kids in archery, lots of kids in boys and girls basketball. Boys basketball team's 12-3 and three right now, doing really, really well. Girls team is uh, ranked third in the state, 14-2. Um, and two undefeated in the league and hopefully trying to keep it that way and be back-to-back -back champs. You know what's impressive, Aaron, is is the quality of coaches here at FCA. You know, basketball, Coach Bethel, Coach Hooper. Uh, Coach Bethel is a disciple of Coach Hooper. I mean, they, they coached together for, for years. Talk a little bit about the coaches. Right, we're really blessed to have that kind of quality. Um, you know, and you can just see it in our kids. Uh, you see it in their effort. And you see it in how much they enjoy playing and the participation that we have here. And, and we just have some great people. And, you know, it's it's not because of me. It's not because of anything else because we have a great school and they're attracted to this place. And uh, great coaches attract great kids, and, and that's what we're hoping to do here. And the coaches are able to develop the kids. That's you right. At, you look at uh, Landon and uh, Jacob, the guards for the boys' basketball yep. team last night they played JV last year but boy they've just grown exponentially over the over the the off season and when you lose to Stephen Carpenter now you're 12 and 3 because the kids are stepping up and they're developing under the coaching staff that's right we lose four kids that have played for four years on varsity and these guys step right back up and they're 12 and 3 and and again that's right because of the development that they have and they just love being in the gym and coach Hooper makes it fun for them um, and that's an important part of it talk a little bit about spring sports what's coming up yeah uh, spring sports coming right around the corner I'm probably not ready for it but uh, we got baseball softball and track um, at the high school level and the junior high level so we'll have all those things going here before you know it this is Amanda Call or Mr. Carpenter if you know, enroll your child at FCA we'll be back FCA is leading Burn Union 22-9 this girls basketball game on the FCA Sports Network Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Is like I don't really know. You wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Hi, I'm Mike Miller, host of Lancaster Perspective. The crew and I would like to extend a formal invitation to you to catch us on Channel 9, Lancaster School Network.
Langster Perspective on LSN. Eight minutes on the clock as we start the third quarter play. FCA up 22-9 on the FCA Sports Network, and we have a blocking foul to start the third quarter. Foul is on FCA's number 20, Rochelle Tedro. Her first team, or her third team first, and that shot is up and in. Who was that, Caleb, to hit that? And that's, uh, let's see, there's a shot up, uh, missed by Burn Union, and we got a foul on Leah Custer. Burn Union scored a layup, intercepted the ball, and immediately put a shot up and was fouled. And so now we got Tedro in, that is her she sits down, Abby Spurgis in. Leah Custer with the foul, that's her second. Team's second. Burn Union with the basketball underneath her own basket. Pass out to Shepard. 2-3 zone for FCA. Shepard, foul line extended right side, loses it, gets it back. Gets it to her sister. Lauren Shepard, pass intercepted by Ruthie Johnson. Quickly in the forecourt to Leah Custer. Ball loose on the floor. Johnson does a curly kneel and uh, impersonation, dribbles out of trouble. Vivian George will stop and pop and hit inside the three-point arc. Vivian George with her first two of the night, 24-11 the score. Shepard quickly across the timeline. Ruthie Johnson on her, ball goes out of bounds, off of Johnson, and it'll be Burn Union's basketball to the right of their own basket. Alexis Lanier will inbound. Lanier holds, gets it out to Mirgan. She fires a shot, no good. Rebound, Mirgan out to Lanier. Lanier for Burn Union, foul line extended. Now goes top of the key to Riley Snoke. She drives, stops, fires, back of the rim, no good. Rebound loose on the floor, out of bounds, and will go FCA's way. 6.46 to go. Third quarter play, FC up 24-11. Ruthie Johnson inbounds to Leah Custer. 1 2 2. Excuse me, 1 2 2 1 zone trap as Custer dribbles across the timeline and is knocked out of bounds by Lauren Shepard. FCA will inbound. Johnson, Ruthie inbounds to Leah Custer. Back to Ruthie Johnson. Foul line extended right side. Drives baseline. Gets out of Abby Spurgis. Top of the key, Leah Custer goes left side to Vivian George, fires a two ball and hits. So my broadcast partner from last night has got four points, and FCA creates a turnover. Vivian George knocks the ball out of bounds off of Alexis Lanier. And the Knights come out of the, the first half, and they're shooting well. And timeout, Burn Union. Timeout on the floor, 6.19 to go. Third quarter of play, FCA up 26-11 over Burn Union and the FCA Sports Network. The FCA Sports Network is brought to you by Fairfield Medical Center. People you know, care you trust. Fairfield Medical Center is people you know, offering quality care that you trust. Serving residents in Fairfield, Perry, and Hawking in Athens counties and employing more than 2,000 healthcare professionals, Fairfield Medical Center is proud of its role in the community, providing full service, general acute, Health Services, fmchealth.org. 6.19 to go, third quarter of play, FCA up 26-11. Ruthie Johnson will inbound to McKaylee Dexter in the backcourt and out of the forecourt. Gives it to Custer. Man-to-man -man defense for Burn Union. Ruthie Johnson has it, foul line extended left side, top of the key to Dexter. She takes a dribble, fires a shot at the foul line and hits. Dexter's Sixth point of the night. Snoke across the timeline. She drives, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Shepard, and we got a jump ball call. And the change of possession arrow goes FCA's way. Burn Union will inbound, or excuse me, Ruthie Johnson will inbound the Burn Union side of the court. Gets it to Custer, back to Ruthie Johnson. Vivian George has it. 
across the timeline to McKaylee Dexter. She stops, pops, rebound to Rochelle Pedro, puts it in. Pedro with four, 30 to 11. Vivian George knocks the ball out of bounds in front of our broadcast position. I believe that was Abby Spurgis who had the two shot earlier. Was it Abby Spurgis? It's Rochelle's replacement. Okay, very good, thank you. Burn Union with the basketball, Lanier has it. She tries to go to Snope, knocked away. Snope gets it back, backcourt down to forecourt. Gets it to Shepard, she drives blocked by Dexter. Passes to Custer, there's a steal by Snope, no good. Rebound to Burn Unions. Lauren Shepard, she puts it up and in. Shepherd, the Lauren Shepard's got five. Custer, head of the pack to Dexter. Dexter, cross court to Abby Spurgis. Puts it up, backboard no good. Rebound to Lauren Shepard. And we had a double dribble on Lauren Shepard. And that turnover goes FCA's way. FCA will inbound at half court. Across the way, 4.54 to go, third quarter of play. 30 to 13, FCA up by 17. Burn Union just about had an opportunity to, to score three times in a row. Burn Union's had a nice little spurt here to start the third quarter. Ruthie Johnson gets it to Vivian George. Right point, dribbles out of trouble. George on the dribble, still dribbling, she'll stop. Backboard up and in, Vivian George is on fire with six points here in the third quarter. 32-13 the score, FCA up. Four and a half minutes to go, third quarter of play. Shepard goes left side to Snoke. Cross court to Alexis Lanier, she'll fire a three ball, hits. <laughs> Alexis Lanier with seven, long pass up to Abby Spurgis, puts it up and in. Abby Spurgis with four. And both teams, just like that, scoring points. Snoke kicks it out to Lanier. Lanier, right point. Vivian George on her, cross court to Riley Snoke. High post to Shepard. Knocked away by George. Shepard gets it back to Lanier. Lanier drives into the lane. Knocked away by Dexter. Custer has it. Leah Custer quickly across the timeline. Between the circle, she goes left side to Vivian George. Fires a two ball, rims it, no good. Tipped by Dexter out to Custer, puts it up, no good. Rebound, and we got a foul. The thing that amazes me, Jack, is the speed that both these teams play with. <laughs> Kaylee Dexter, her second foul. Team third. Spurgis comes out. Lauren Austin is in now. FCA in a 2-3 zone. Lanier goes left side to Shepard. Megan Shepard back to Lanier to Megan Shepard. Foul line extended, left side. She bounce passes to Lanier. Lanier high post to her sister Lauren. Lauren Shepard goes cross court to Megan. Fires a jumper, good. Megan Shepard is in the books with her first two. FCA breaks the press as Leah Custer Across the timeline, right point, three minutes to go, third quarter of play. Works off a Dexter pick, and we got a blocking call on McKaylee Dexter for a moving pick. And McKaylee with her third foul, team fourth. Abby Spurgis comes in for Dexter. Dexter six with a six points and Abby Spurgis comes on with four. Cross court pass, there's a shot by Sarah Long, no good. Rebound to Spurgis and last touch by Byrne Union on a pass, attempted pass to Ruthie Johnson. FCA with the ball, full court man-to-man -man pressure now. Johnson gets it up to Custer, breaks the press. Left point in the forecourt. Custer on a weave to Johnson, right side to George. Austin back to Spurgis between the circles to Vivian George. And she'll 
take the ball out. Now she's going to drive, and she's got, and she is fouled, I believe. Foul is on number 22, Lauren Shepard. To her third, team first. Riley Snoke in now for Lauren Shepard. Ruthie Johnson will inbound in front of coach Ben Bethel. Gets it to Leah Custer. Custer now between the circles on the dribble. Goes left side to Vivian George. She'll drive left side. Loses it. Gets it back. To Austin right side now. Right point to Custer. Man-to-man -man defense for Burn Union. 2.10 to go. Custer in a spin move. Drives. Puts it up. No good. She's fouled. Foul is on. Lauren Shepard, that's her third, fourth, team second. Make it, yeah, team second. Leah Custer line left shooting two. Hits the first. Leah's got nine. Kirsten Mirgan's gonna come in for Lauren Shepard. Custer sights it, shoots it, back of the rim, no good. Loose ball on the floor, Lanier has it. Lanier quick, quickly across the timeline between the circles. Drives right side, knocked away by Vivian George, out of bounds, it'll be Burn Union's basketball. To the right of their, the end of their bench. Burn Union moving left to right on your radio dial. Lanier. Tries to go cross court, pass stolen by Ruthie Johnson, drives length of the court, puts it up, no good, rebound. Custer puts it up and in. <laughs> Leah Custer with 11, 37-18 with 1.45 to go in the third quarter of play. Mergen, to Lanier, back to Mergen in the right corner. Gets it out to Shepard, to Snoke. Snoke on the left side, kicks it out to Lanier. Lanier between the circles. Gets it to Shepard, making fires, back to the rim, no good. Rebound loose. Ruthie Johnson comes down with it in the corner, kicks it out to Leah Custer with 120 to go in the first in the third quarter of play. Custer between the circles. Looks to Coach Bethel as they call a play. Custer goes high point or high post to Spurgis, and the ball is kicked by Riley Snoke, and FCA will inbound far side. Lanier comes out for Burn Union. Custer bounce pass to Johnson. Back door cut to Ruthie uh, to Vivian George who attempts a layup and misses. Now Custer will fire a three ball. Hits in the left corner. <laughs> Leah Custer with 14. 40 to 18 the score. FCA up with 47 seconds to go in the third quarter of play. Snoke, Shepard drives, puts it up, no good, rebound Abby Spurgis, and she's fouled. Foul is on Megan Shepard, her second, team third. Now we got Abby Wright checking in for Megan Shepard. Sarah Bieber is also in for Burn Union. Ruthie Johnson inbounding, holding, holding, gets it to Vivian George. Works her way in the backcourt out, out of pressure, gives it now to uh, Ruthie Johnson, spin move across the timeline. Now FCA with the ball in the forecourt, gives it to Custer between the circles. High post, now high point to Spurgis. Right side to Austin. Austin, foul line extended, will pass left side to George, now to Ruthie Johnson. Johnson will bring it out with nine seconds. Custer to George, six seconds, five, four. Custer has it, drives baseline, bounces off a player, puts it up, no good, and a foul is on Leah Custer. Custer with their third foul, it's a team fifth, and with .9 seconds to go, FCA, turns the ball over on that charge. 
Ball inbounded now to Riley Snoke into the backcourt, and that is the end of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books, FCA leads 40 to 18 over Burn Union. We'll start the fourth quarter after this on the FCA Sports Network. In 1929 uh, in Chicago, uh, a gentleman by the name of Marion Wade, a former uh, minor league baseball player, started the company. It was just a moth-proofing company then. Uh, and 1952, it expanded to carpet cleaning and pioneered what uh, is now called uh, outsourcing. And the Sidwells wanted a community that had a lot of churches, had a lot of soccer opportunities, where kids love soccer, uh, and a good parks and rec department, so they chose Lancaster. And so in 1980, uh, they moved the franchise here in Lancaster, the 6th Avenue. Uh, but then in 2002, Todd George, current owner, purchased the franchise from them. And in 2004, he bought a building uh, that's on Mulberry Street, and that's where the franchise is located currently. I'm Jay Johnson, General Manager of Service Master Clean by Todd George, where we guarantee if it's not done right the first time, we'll do it again. Service Master Clean by Todd George, 740-687-1077, 740-687-1077. Fourth quarter, FCA leads 40 to 18, Burn Union with the basketball, Lanier, Inbounds to Shepard, back to Lanier. She comes across the timeline. Vivian George on her. Ball knocked away. Kenzie Johnson gets it to Vivian George, quickly across the timeline. Three on one, George stops, pops, blocked. Put up again by Abby Spurgis, up and good. Spurgis with six on the return, 7.37 to go now, FCA up. 42-18, Lanier fires a three, rims it no good, Spurgis with a rebound. Passes inside and it is stolen away and laid up and in by Lauren Shepard. She's got seven. Custer with the basketball. 42-20 FCA up with 7.15 to go in the ball game. Vivian George goes right side. Mackenzie Johnson. Spurgis to Tedro. FCA working the ball around now. Custer. Tries to go inside, Mackenzie Johnson got a push on Lauren Shepard. And that should be her fifth. And it is. Lauren Shepard fouls out with seven minutes to go in the ball game. FCA up 42 to 20. Sarah Bieber comes in now. Kenzie Johnson will inbound to the left of her basket. Kicks it into Tedrow, drives, puts it up. Backboard no good, tip loose. Comes down to Mackenzie Johnson, last touch by an FCA player, Burn Union basketball, with 6.54 to go in the ball game. FCA has pretty much led all the way. Shepard. To Lanier, goes high post to Bieber. She fires back to the rim and in. Sarah Bieber is in the book with two points. 42-22, FCA up by 20 with 6.30 to go in the ball game. Leah Custer drives into the lane, lays it off to Rochelle Tedro, knocked away, and Tedro's the last one to touch it out of bounds. Burn Union now will inbound the ball and go the length of the floor. Inbounds to Lanier. She goes left side to Snoke, foul line extended. Back to Lanier. High post, Bieber. Fires, no good. Rebound loose on the floor. Snoke has it. She drives, puts it up and in. Riley Snoke with four. 42-24, six minutes to go in the ball game. Nice give and go as Custer drives, misses the shot. Rebound to Lanier. Lanier driving length of the floor, three on one. Drives, puts it up. Back of the rim, no good. Loose ball on the floor. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Byrne Union. Timeout. Coach Bethel and FCA. 5.47 to go in the ball game. FCA up 42-24 in the FCA Sports Network. This is the FCA Sports Network on WLRY 88.9, Rushville, Lancaster on LSN TV, Lancaster Time Warner, and on YouTube. The doctors Todd and Debbie Hamilton at N8 Family Chiropractic can help you find a true wellness lifestyle in their state-of-the-art facility on Memorial Drive in Lancaster. 
They can show you the natural way to better health without resorting to the use of expensive prescription medications. One visit to N8 Family Chiropractic can help you see why chiropractic is the safe and effective alternative to back surgery. N8FamilyChiropractic.com Bill Palmer Insurance is an independent agency that represents many different companies with a wide range of products, including auto, home, farm, business, life, health, renters, RV, boat, motorcycle, and more. They offer prompt quotes at 1-800-244-5734 or online at bpins.com. Golden tones of Caleb Yount tonight working the broadcast with me. Always glad to have Caleb with me. Caleb and I did football this year. Had a great time, didn't we? Yes, we did. And Caleb is quite the uh, cross-country runner. You guys had a great season cross-country. Vivian George now with the basketball. Gives it to Mackenzie Johnson. Goes right side, Abby Spurgis. As Burn Union extends their man-to-man -man defense. Spurgis loses it. Gets back to Tedro. Mackenzie Johnson to Custer between the circles. Mackenzie Johnson, Vivian George, she is bumped, and we got a foul on Riley Snow. It's her first. Be the team fourth, I believe, with 5.19 to go in the ballgame. FCA up by a score of 42 to 24. Mackenzie Johnson. Inbounds to Spurgis at the foul line. She goes left side to Custer. Fadeaway jumper baseline no good. Rebound loose and we got a jump ball. As both players at Johnson and uh, Bieber touched it. Simultaneously the ball will go to Burn Union on the change of possession. Spurgis out. Tedro in for FCA. 5-10 to go in the ball game. Lanier has the basketball in the center court. Center circle into the forecourt. Is it the Bieber? Foul line extended right side. Tedro on her. Bieber hold. Kicks it to Shepard. Now back to Lanier between the circles. Shepard. Left side gives it to Lanier. Loses it. Gets it back. Fadeaway jumper. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Bieber. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Burn Union Shepard. And she's fouled underneath. That might be on Leah Custer. Nope. It is on McKaylee Dexter. Dexter. So McKaylee Dexter, that's her fourth foul. Team six, line right, shooting two. And hitting the first is Megan Shepard. Ruthie Johnson comes in now for FCA. Vivian George sits down. Megan Shepard with three points, looking at four at the line and hits. Megan Shepard with four, FCA quickly inbounds. 42-26 to score, 440 to go in the ball game. George goes right, uh, excuse me, uh, Custer goes right side to Ruthie Johnson. Ball goes left side now to Custer, bounce pass into Tedro, low block left side, puts it up, no good. Rebound loose, Dexter has it, low block, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Riley Snoke. Snoke, bounce pass, stolen by Johnson. She'll drive, puts it up, no good, and last touch by Burn Union. So FCA will inbound to the right of their basket. We have a Burn Union substitution. That's Sarah Long coming in for Riley Snoke. Snoke six down with four points. Sarah Long is uh, yet to have a point. Ruthie Johnson holds, holds, kicks it out to Tedro. Now gets it out to Leah Custer. She'll direct traffic. Right side, 4-10 to go. She tries a give and go bounce pass to Tedro. Goes out of bounds. Last touched on the pass by Custer. And Burn Union takes the basketball. 4.05 to go in the ball game. 42-26. FCA up. Led most of the game. Megan Shepard spins on Kaylee Dexter. Puts a shot up, no good. And Dexter is in the books for a foul. That is McKaylee Dexter's fifth foul, so she is disqualified. 17 foul in FCA. Megan Shepard will go to the line right, shooting two. Dexter's night is finished. McKaylee had a nice night, six points, number of rebounds. Warren Austin comes in. 
is her sub. The first shot is up and in by Megan Shepard. She's got five. Megan again, line right, 42-27 the score, hits it. Megan Shepard with six. 42-28 the score, under four minutes to go in the ball game. FCA with the ball in the lead, Tedro. High post, gives it to Mackenzie Johnson, goes right side to Austin, to Tedro, back to Custer on the right point. Custer drives, Lane puts it backboard no good, loose ball comes down to Lanier. Long pass, head of the court to Shepard. She's at the foul line, she'll get it out to Lanier. Left side now to Long. Shot up, no good, hits the backboard standard. And the ball will go to FCA. Coach Hurst wanted a foul on that play. Didn't get the call. Ruthie Johnson will inbound. 3.22 to go in the ball game. Inbound it to Leah Custer. Back to Ruthie Johnson. Full court press. Man-to-man -man press. Ruthie Johnson picks up the dribble. Passes it to uh, Mackenzie Johnson. She is pushed by Riley Snoke. Her second. That is the team's sixth, I believe. The Burn Union stands are not happy about that call. It was a good call. She got bumped. And 314 to go in the ballgame. FCA inbounds at half court. Austin. Custer. Now she comes into the four coat court. Bounce pass to Tedro at the point. Top of the key. Gives it to Johnson. Right side to Austin. Back to Custer. Under three to go. Custer. Pass to Tedro. Drives, puts it up and in. Nice move by Rochelle Pedro. I have her for four points. Lanier with the basketball. Ruthie Johnson on her. There's a steal by Leah Custer. Head of the pack. Leah will drive, put it up and in. 16 points for Leah Custer. So Leads far. all scores. The homecoming queen having a good night tonight. She's three under her average. 46-28 the score, FCA up. Bieber drives and she's fouled on the right block. Foul is on Lauren Austin, her second. It'll be a two-shot foul for Sarah Bieber. She's got two points, misses the first. Talked to Coach Bethel before the game. He wanted to hold Burn Union to under 30. He said if he, if he held them under 30, he thought they had a good chance of winning. They've held them to 28 so far as Beaver misses the second. Long pass to uh, Austin, taken away by Burn Union. Lanier has it quickly across the timeline. Drives, puts it up, blocked, and she's fouled. Foul is on. Lauren Austin, that's her third two-shot foul for Alexis Lanier. She's got seven on the night, line right. Sights it, shoots it, and hits it. Lanier with eight. Austin comes out, and Katie Key sees her first action for FCA tonight. Balance scoring for Burn Union. Lanier has eight. Lauren Shepard with seven. Megan Shepard with six. Sarah Bieber with two. Lanier hits that foul shot. She's got nine, 46, 30 the score. FCA with the basketball. Two minutes to go in the ball game. Tedro, the keys, left side to Johnson the three-point line. Johnson works the ball right side to Custer. She'll drive, puts the ball up, misses the shot, rebound to Burn Union. Head of the pack, the ball goes to Mergen, off her hands out of bounds, it will go FCA's way. 1.38 to go in the ball game. 46-30 the score, Ruthie Johnson inbounds to Leah Custer, full court pressure by Burn Union. Custer has it. Across the timeline, double team. She goes left side to Johnson. Custer has it now. Custer drives, puts the ball up. No good. Rebound, Mackenzie Johnson up and in. 
Mackenzie Johnson in the books, her first two, 48-30. There's a pass stolen by Custer, tries to save it. Mergen has it, right side, she drives and she is fouled by Mackenzie Johnson. Mackenzie in the books were her first. And they're shooting the one and one. Now we got a slew of subs for FCA. Abby Spurgis, Vivian George, Iris Kellett, and Kaylin DeWeese are in for FCA. Mergen line right, shooting. Sights it, shoots it. Back to the rim, no good. Rebound to Burn Union. Taken away by Kellett. Gives it to Keyes. She loses the basketball, gets it back. She's going to dribble up the court. Loses it. Ball loose on the floor, and we got a jump ball situation. Ball goes to FCA and the change of possession. 57.4 seconds to go in the ball game. 48-30 the score. FCA up. DeWeese inbounds to Spurgis. Looking to get it to a guard and does. Katie Keyes has it. She has it stolen by Snoke. Snoke drives and knocked away by Keyes. And we got a foul on Keyes. Katie Keyes with her first. That should put FCA in the double bonus. So Burn Union will be shooting two the rest of the way with 46.9 seconds to go. First shot by Snoke, rims it no good. Sarah Bieber coming in now for Megan Shepard. Shepard's night is finished. She's got six points. Lexis Lanier leads the Burn Union scores with eight. Snoke has four, sights it, shoots it, rims it in. Riley Snoke with five. 48-31, FCA up by 17 with 42 seconds to go. Vivian George, head of the pack to Ke Kellett. Fires and hits. <laughs> Iris Kellett with a nice 10-foot jumper. She's got two. Snoke drives the lane, fires no good. Katie Keyes with a rebound, stolen by Burn Union, put up and in by Sarah Beaver. Beaver with four. Keyes tries to split the defense. She is fouled with 18 seconds to go. FCA will be shooting the one and one now with 50, uh, 18 seconds to go, 50 to 33, the score. Katie Keys line left, shooting the one and one. Katie played a great game, the JV game won by FCA earlier tonight. Katie sights it, shoots it, rims it, and hits it. Katie Keys in the books with her first point. Nine Good. people have scored points for FCA so far. Katie Keys line left, looking to make good on the pair. Sights it, shoots it, and rims it. No good. Rebound off of Beaver. And we got a whistle and be a foul. No, it's going to be off Beaver. FCA will inbound. DeWeese will kick it out to Katie Keyes. Foul line extended right side. Bounce pass into DeWeese. It's off a Burn Union player. And DeWeese will inbound for FCA. 11.7 seconds to go. DeWeese holding, holding. Bounce pass to Spurgis. She dribbles, loses it. Keyes gets it to Vivian George. She's bumped, no call. Vivian will kick it out to Kellett. She'll fire a three ball short. Ball loose on the floor, players on the floor, and that's the end of the ball game. Final score here at FCA. FCA beats Burn Union by a score of 51 to 33. Let's talk about some of our sponsors, Caleb, that we didn't get a chance to uh, mention tonight. I want to thank Spires Paving, Home of Joy Farms, Business Solution Systems. You can do the rest there. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. This week with Sheriff Dave Phelan, Fairfield Christian Church, Lancaster Perspective with Mike Miller, and of course we'd like to thank our media team today. Of course you have you and I announcing, Jack. And on camera we had Eric Hoover who ran camera for his first time, Ian Parrish, 
on camera and Isaac Payne also on camera. The director is JT Burcham, who does a great job every week. And graphics and audio is Connor Harrison. And TriCaster is Harrison Poole along with Emily Green. So today's broadcast is a high school production by the Fairfield Christian Academy students, students announcing, students on camera, students producing and mixing. We well, thank you for listening and supporting the FCA Sports Network. Final score, FCA beats Burn Union by a score of 51 to 33. For Kayla Beyount and the rest of the FCA media team, you've been listening to FCA Sports on the FCA Sports Network. Have a good night, everybody. When it comes to choosing a school, parents who want the best education for their students look for academic excellence, skilled teachers, a safe school that encourages their values. Students want a school with competitive athletics, unique opportunities, and friendships that last a lifetime. Fairfield Christian Academy, the place where parents and students agree. Enrolling now at fairfieldchristianacademy.com. The FCA Sports Network, brought to you in part by Big Sandy Superstore, Service Master Clean by Todd George, Central Ohio General Surgeons, Scrambler Marie's on Edie Road, Ohio Christian University, Fairfield Medical Center, Innate Family Chiropractic, Bill Palmer Insurance, Spires Paving Company, Home of Joy Farms, Business Solution Systems, Redeemer Lutheran Church, Fairfield County Sheriff Dave Phelan, Fairfield Christian Church, WLRY 88.9 and LancasterOhio.tv.